fear and concern in L.A.'s largely Jewish Pico Robertson neighborhood tonight after two consecutive shootings of Orthodox Jewish men in as many days. Fox 11's Phil Schumann is there live. Phil, what did we just find out? Well, we know that both shooting victims were approached by a gunman as they walked on the sidewalk here in the residential area south of Pico, uh, leaving Orthodox synagogues, two of many in the area. Police initially said the suspects had two different descriptions, but now they're saying they believe it's the same man they're looking for in both shootings. This morning's shooting happened outside the Orthodox Jewish synagogue on Pico, known as the Pinto Center. The victim, a man in his 70s, was walking towards his car when a gunman, a white man in a black mask, shot him and drove off in an older model Hyundai. It's definitely nerve-wracking. It's very scary. Rabbi Avi Gruen works at the Pinto Center, grew up in this Pico Robertson neighborhood. I don't remember any other time in the past where we've had uh, people, just people in the community being shot at, especially leaving, uh, leaving synagogue. So it's for sure, uh, definitely a lot of people are... Uh, nervous about it. You ever feel like a target because you're Jewish? Uh, not so much, but maybe now. <laughs> you know, in general, you feel pretty safe walking around here. Not anymore. Yesterday morning, another shooting outside one of the many synagogues on Pico. Another Orthodox Jew, a man in his 40s, shot by a suspect described as an Asian male with a mustache. No vehicle description. There aren't enough cops in the area, so we have to be fully aware aware of what's and going cautious. on. For now, the LAPD says the two shootings are not related, not necessarily hate crimes, which Vivian Eisenstadt says seems ridiculous. Eisenstadt lives in the neighborhood, is in the process of getting her CCW, a permit to carry a concealed weapon. They're not stealing anything, and they're not holding them up for anything. They're just randomly shooting them and then jumping into cars. So what else could you deduce from that? Other than that Jewish people are being targeted. Yes. Jew haters, one area resident uh, said that's the best way to describe it. Now, again, since we recorded that story, Alex and Christine, the police literally within the past few minutes, as you mentioned, uh, have updated that information to say that they believe the same suspect described as an Asian man with a mustache is the shooter in both instances, but no details on the vehicle. There are many cameras out on Pico, of course, and some in residential areas here, no doubt aiding detectives in their investigation. Major crimes has taken over. The mayor's office is aware. The ADL is issuing a statement of concern, and the LAPD says they will be increasing patrols in this area immediately. Live in Pico Robertson, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.